One of the biggest challenges for any program is to be a SQL optimizer. It's not a job I would like to do, and I imagine it's not a job you would like to do either. It's very pleasing that we have a program that does it for us, working out the best way to run a SQL statement. That doesn't stop people from getting stuck into it. Whenever the optimizer gets something what they think is wrong, people are all over social media going, yeah, the optimizer was rubbish, etc. I thought just a little quick video today to launch a defense for the optimizer, who obviously can't speak for itself. Here's the claim I would like to make. In most cases, the optimizer is smarter than us, like a lot smarter than us. And let me give you a simple example. I've got a simple query here. I'm joining the employee table and the department table. I'm doing an outer join, and I'm getting all the rows where the salary is greater than 30. Now, if you're an optimizer, and I said, what's the best way to run that query? You've got some options. Should I do a nested loop join? Should I do a hash join? Should I do a merge join? Should I start with the employee table? Should I start with a department table? There's a whole lot of permutations you have to explore. What did the optimizer do in this case? The optimizer, which we so often malign, what execution plan did it come up with? Let's have a look. That's right, table access full employee. Is this a bug? Where's the department table? What happened to the department table? This is a join between employee and department. Let's see what the optimizer did. The first thing the optimizer did that we probably wouldn't have realized is that it knew that department number in both the employee table and the department table were not null. So our use of an outer join can easily be mapped to an inner join. But then the optimizer also knew that we have a strict validated constraint, a foreign key constraint that is, between the employee table and the department table. So it now knows that the department number to employee number join is an always true condition. So it no longer needs the join. If I don't need the join, I don't need the department table at all because I'm not querying any of the department table columns. My query then just becomes a select column name from the employee table with an employee predicate. Now I'd be willing to bet you didn't come up with that plan. You may have after a certain amount of time, but don't forget the optimizer only has milliseconds to do this. So be aware that just because a plan doesn't seem to look like the plan that you think the optimizer should have come up with, be aware that most of the time the optimizer is going to do a much better job than we could. Will it be perfect? No, because in order to perfectly optimize an infinite number of SQL statements, you would require an infinite number of SQL statistics stored against the data dictionary. That's obviously not practical, but I think the optimizer does a pretty good job with the statistics it has. So next time you want to crack on the optimizer, maybe just take a break and think it's doing a pretty good job for us.